I'm not even sure which colors he used. Does he use does he use Leviathan? I don't even know. It's a pretty cool race though. If a bit disgusting. Okay, so game three. Plus potentially the final game of a best of five between Toy Lali and Riku. Riku on Tyranids, going Lictor Alpha, and Toy Lali on his signature Lord General. Who's gonna win? Who the fuck knows? Although right now my money would be on the person who's 2 0 up, you know. Although I'm probably not meant to say that. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Riku moving out with his Hormigons. Lictor Alpha is probably gonna go be confrontational. Like, uh, he might get a cap off first. He mo looks like he's moving for the requisition point. Uh, Hormigon Brood moving to um, <laughs> pray to Dark Gods for justice against Nids. I'm not a traitor, I'm just like a tainted loyalist. Okay, so Riku getting a cap off um, on these two points, pretty standard stuff. Toily capping the same two points, very standard stuff. Uh, Toily also moving to the VP, and uh, Riku is deviating and putting down a node, gonna cap with the Hormagons, I imagine. Lictor Alpha is gonna be roaming or capping, I'm not even sure. Uh, Lord General also gonna go roaming. Gonna make contact with the Termagon Brood, Sentinel on the field as well. So, don't imagine this Termagon is going to be able to stay on the field for very long. If, uh, yeah, so maybe we need to cover um, a Termagon model. Hmm. Two Termagons. Oh, so this is becoming a very early engagement. Uh, Riku moving Lictor off forward, not choosing to go invisible. Now he does, instantly going invisible. A trait of Lictor Alpha. Going to go be a pain to this Lord General and uh, gets partially revealed so um, is he? No. Not considering using Flesh Hook but just getting pew pew that. Sentinel now has Ground Pound and second Sentinel coming up so no surprise there. Here comes a Flesh Hook, lots of damage on the Lord General. The rest of the members getting picked off as um, you know, they have like uh, the Lord General has the die last mechanic so any like any extra damage going to Lord General also. Like, I mean, yeah, basically. Down to the last member, Hormigon's being forced off two Sentinels and a Guardsman, just too much damage for them to bear. Absolutely fine. Riku now has a silent creature on the field. Not losing too much ground though, and the um, white quite I would say going according to plan for both players so far. Like um, yeah, the Sentinels have forced off Riku, but that's what Sentinels do, especially three minutes into the game. Especially when there are two of them. Not getting the cap off here though, and um, sorry, not getting the node off because Toil is going three guardsmen. And as a result, Riku is going to get the decap off, which is a nice win for him. It's, uh, it's a, you know, it's a small win. Not massive, but it's, it's a win. Um, Warrior Brew's getting onto the Sentinel, going to get stomped off, going to secure the decap and basically be a pain. Uh, Warrior Brutes don't really care that much about the stop though, so they're just gonna cap up and... The map control is pretty even right now, like, um, yeah, it's it's Toil favorite, but Toil doesn't have a, a natural farm node, so... You know, that's that's quite a significant amount of compensation, considering that this farm, like, you know, this this is a really important farm. Without it, like, you you're only you only have contested points to, to uh, deal with, and now it's Riku's turn to deny the power to Toil. So Toil is going to have to make a choice. Is he going to take the engagement here and deal with his army and then go back and kill it or not bring part of his army to deal with the power? And that's what he's done. Uh, he has left his Lord General and a Guardian squad to deal with that. Um, Moria is getting very low though. Uh, no sign that's lost back to, to really care about those so he's finally leaving them isolated. Might actually drop another model next to the Termagon slow, oh, but Toil's not going for that. Instead, electing to actually damage the Termagons, which is more effective now. Guardsman being forced to retreat, wasted crippling poison. Sentinel just forcing them off now. It's just not pretty standard. 
Um, power note now goes down, Lord General down to one model and going to be reinforcing shortly, I imagine. Um, just gonna take over the cap and send the guardsmen elsewhere? Yeah, yeah. Um, Sentinel is now roaming as a pair, looking for Hormigons to Nomchon, like, uh, oh look! Surprise, surprise, uh, Hormigons going to be retreating, uh, after the decap actually. And they're gonna get the decap off because the stomp's gonna come a bit slow. Yeah, it is. Um, a little bit of pathing error there, like I'm pretty sure Toil wanted to get that off immediately, but, uh, yeah, he wants to wipe the squad! Mm, a bit optimistic. Anyway, um, full farm coming up for Riku now, so, uh, and no farm for Toil, in fact, just getting off the first node, uh, of his first node of the game, so, you know, like, um, uh, not the biggest surprise, considering his build anyway, but the fact that he didn't actually have access to it is, uh, you know, it's a big dampener on the way Toil plays his build, it's very much high pressure in your face, more squad count than you, Denying your power, putting a, a turret here and just going lol lol lol, right? So, uh, last turret or heavy turret, doesn't matter which one. Equally effective in their tiers, I would say. Um, anyway, Lictor Alpha doing some stalking, going to. Oh, sorry. Watch there. Um, Warriors tanking all the damage. And comes the disruption from Victor Alpha. I'm not sure he's doing enough work by himself there to really justify sending in the Warriors alone. I think he needed to... I mean, in, in his in his position, I would definitely be picking up... Uh, uh, Bob Straggler, because of the amount of spells he's got. But yeah, he's getting quite a bit of damage in on this uh, Sentinel. Unfortunately, there's just a little bit too much range damage again. I don't really see how Riku can break he's down without synapses it's just he needs to some like secure his synapse on the field not exposing too much damage and it's easier to be done especially considering that toil has three guardsmen with sergeants I'm pretty sure yeah they've all got sergeants nine 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 yeah three three sergeants and here will come the turrets so um weak guardsmen going to cap there incoming turrets decap here imagine the sentinel might keep going on a decapping spree Oh look, a turret. Didn't I just call that like 15 seconds ago? No. Oh, uh, the brutality of it all. But anyway, um, this to be honest, this is Toil's comeback. This is this is Toil's comeback mechanic. Like he needs, he has he's been the one who hasn't had the farm, so um, he'll have a nice edge. Actually, I I I would say if he gets this gem bash off, he's gonna have a nice edge. Like despite we gain tier two first, he's not gonna have a power power farm. Especially if he lose the squad. Oh, he's gonna lose the squad. That last turn does too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bob Strangler is a really good choice, but in comes the stomp. Yeah, stun does so much work. Last turn doing so much work in this. Oh my word. So. He traded. Effectively, I'd say he traded two gens for a home without squad. Which is actually. Considering how bad his position was, is. Uh, Okay, he might not actually even keep the two powers, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how much he actually achieves, because I don't really see now how he holds on to his gen farm. He has no power. He has... Mm. Last turn, not auto-attacking. Yep, he queued up now, and they're getting pretty low, so... Being forced to retreat, Sentinels are going to finish that off. Yeah, that farm's going down, so... Basically traded a whole middle squad for yeah that's why he had no, no power because he queued up his own throw. So he basically traded the home squad for getting out and getting enough power to get a zone drop out, which is not which is really 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 bad I'd say. Don't think he needed to be to to throw the home in like that. But this is really looking really ugly. So that zone throw better better do some work. I mean, Toil's, you know, getting a steady income of power now, and... Are you sure? Kiltos an 8 bug on purpose. Huh! Lols! Did not know that. Kiltos! Why you break, why you break game? So, Toil being a bit like merciful there, going like, oh, okay, you can have shit. Okay, here comes the barrage. Here comes the barrage. You can't move out the way. Oh, the stun. 
Oh, the stun. Oh, the stun. Yeah. I mean, the barrage wasn't, like, the most effective ever, but look how much damage he took trying to not get hit by that barrage. Oh, oh, the warrior goes, ah, uh, warrior model goes down. Oh, that's nasty. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that barrage is a lot of work. Okay, Venomoon on the way now, so that's gonna be some rain synapse, I imagine. He's gonna, he's gonna definitely pick up, like, that rain synapse on the way when he can afford it. The value that he ha that it has, considering that the fact that he has, like, virtually all ranged units is gonna be good, but is it gonna be enough? He's down to 180 VPs, he's down a 2 to 1 trade, like a 2 to 1 VP advantage, and he's gonna lose his only power node and his only points, it's uh... Yeah! Okay, that's a lot of damage though, so Sentinel promptly is going to have to run away as quickly as he can. It's gonna get snared though, not a problem, it's effectively out of danger range. Uh, uses the shield, He's gonna be able to tank a lot of damage. Doesn't really care. Incoming Stomp. Since it's just being so bowler. Going in. Gonna get snared up. Is, has it overextended? Who knows? Oh, look at that damage from the Barb Strike. We're so good against the Guard. Down goes a Sentinel. Not sure it's gonna be enough though. Uh, Ogren's on the way for Toil, so that's gonna be something to really take advantage of the fact that uh, he hasn't got anything that can actually stand and fight Ogrins. Yeah, there, there will be two crippling poison. Barrage going in. Not going to be too much of a problem unless they just die. Uh, Endless Swarm is out. Oh, look at that damage. That Zoanthrope doing so much work. He might lose both Sentinels, to be honest. Uh, Lictor Alpha again, the decap there. Um, Guardsmen just being chased down, harried along their way. Oh no, the sentinel is fine. He's literally he, he's literally got like a like a path of guardsmen like to go. Hey, come home, sentinel. We'll guard you. So sentinel survives the fight another day. Cap is going up, so it'll be two to one for Riku. But he's had no map control. He's got no gens. He's down to seventy eight VPs. Oh okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna take a this is gonna take a big comeback to to win this. Uh, Ogrens. Being buffed up now by uh, move, 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 uh, which uh, Lord General has now got. Grenade launch is really, really good against mids in general. Like, doesn't really matter what race you are. So, um, getting lots of value there. Um, combining with Ogrens for the increased move speed, you can also stack that with use your ads. So, it's pretty some pretty fast moving Ogrens. Pretty nice, pretty nice synergy there uh, with Lord General. Lictor Alpha getting in on the Sentinel. Sentinel stomping and being a right bang, and look at this, like, Riku just hasn't even had the freedom to get any war gear on this like Ralph and, and enhance his abilities. Um, it's a big range blob now, that's, uh, if I, if I was in tallest position, I would probably consider a manticore, but, uh, yeah, Ogren's just taking a ton of damage, look at that, like, oh my god, okay, being put under the shield, this is pretty good, um, in comes it. Yeah, look how much less damage they take. Incoming Stomp, that, that is a sense of lesson. A lot of trouble though. And the Ogrens aren't actually a lot of trouble. They've still got Crippling Poison and Stun, etc. Um, Guardsmen just gonna get this decap off though. So really it's, uh, oh, there's a Spore Mine drop by Riku. So this uh, so Guardsmen are gonna get, gonna get pretty zoned out. But uh, at the same time, he's down one cap to zero. So uh, it's really looking very tenuous. Victor Alpha getting off the cap there. He hasn't even got time to cap mid or decap any of the resource points. So oh, that's going to be a wipe. Oh, that's going to be a wipe. That's going to be a wipe. No, yes. Oh my god, 13 HP. Got some really close calls in these games. He needs to cap. He needs to cap and fast. Chimera coming now. Tyrant Guard coming for Riku. He's going to cap this point, I imagine, with his Lictor Alpha. Zonethrope is going to be the primary capper, and he's going to just move around his range blob for the rest of the game. Defending points, um, yeah. I don't know. This is, uh, this is going to take a quite remarkable comeback. Yes, yes, Riku has a very good composition to deal with what Toil is going to be bringing out, but Toil only has to break Riku down once, and Toil will never have well, well, you know, he only needs to get, like, ticked down 55 VPs. 
Yes, it's Kaldera's refinery, so it's very rare to get at these sort of natural VPs. But just the middle VP alone can do all that work. So, one big push from Toil could just win the game. So, pretty tense here. Excuse me, getting pretty thirsty. Um, we'll see. So Riku just trying to stabilize the position now, and Chimera is now on the field. So this is this is one of the times to push. I don't know if he knows the Tyrant Guard's here, but it shouldn't make too many, too much of a difference. This uh, where's this Venom group? It's uh, over here. So he hasn't got his AV here. Um, okay, plasma gun on the way for the guardsman. Incoming suppression from the warrior brood. Lots of damage from. Is his own throw onto the um, onto the Ogrins. Yeah, I don't really see this working out for uh, Toil at all. There's just yeah, move, move, move being used. Um, Tyrant Guard just doing tons of damage. Yeah, like uh, Toil has to back off these Ogrins. They're they're not like he wants to get a Sandas bomb, but he's not gonna get it. Lictor Alpha doing lots of work in the middle, just tying up the range damage, and especially the plasma guns, which would hurt the Tyrant Guard while not in shield wall. Um, and that was a really great fight for Riku. Like he stabilized, he defended off the big push after Toil just picked up another unit. Yes, Riku picked up one as well, but that also means oh oh don't don't yeah 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 I might go down yeah I will go down. Just as I was singing. He's crazy and saying like he's back in this game. Yeah. Um, but uh, before that, like the, the whole point was that he managed to hold the line while Toil isn't gonna really be bringing another squad onto the field. So his power isn't gonna increase very much more. I mean, Riku's, Riku's really got the, the one with the space to grow, and Toil is really the one who's kind of confined to, like, stuck with what he's got. And that's a really favorable position for Riku to be in. He's, is he gonna de concede the decap? This looks like he's gonna concede the decap. Uh, and here comes the barrage, and Riku needs to move forward. No, he needs to move forward. Oh no, no, move left forward as well. Okay. Okay. But he's gonna concede that this decap, and this is very dangerous for uh, for Riku. Very, extremely. I don't. I can't stress how dangerous this is. It's really fucking dangerous. Um, Okay, um, Ogren is just pushing on through. There is a lot of plasma gun damage, so the warriors are pretty vulnerable. But the Ogrens, on the other hand, are also very, very over. Okay, lots of Sinax bombs now, and this is this is what. Okay, this is what Toil wanted. But at the same time, Riku's managed to stop the split capping. He's managed to stop. Okay, another Sinax bomb. This is starting to get very risky for Riku to hang around, and that's level three warrior boots. He's gonna lose that. Yeah, that 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 that's that that's that's really really bad to lose. I mean, Riku's not out of the game, but it's also sad to see him buying Gene Sealers when he's just lost his uh, his Warrior Brood. Oh wow! Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Again, so Riku getting this decap is gonna be good. Um, Chimera is just gonna get back. Um, you know, kill off this Capillary Towers get rid of some of the latent pressure and just prepping for the next push because as I mentioned Toil is not aiming to get another squad out he just is not I mean look this Ogwin squad is active on like two out of three models and without leader like it's just not happening he's gonna get the sergeant because he needs it but he's just not picking up another squad so Riku really just has to stabilize hold the line don't let Toil advance because Toil yeah, look at that. It's just this nid blob's gonna get bigger. It's gonna get stronger, and Toil's pretty much capped out. Um, Victor Alpha again, yeah, again into the thick of it, and just uh, still no upgrades. Riku is pretty much trying to squeeze out all the value he can out of the resources he's got, and considering that he's was so far behind on map control, this is, it's really incredible that like he's sitting with as much as he's got and he's gonna he's gonna replace his warrior brood and it's very necessary because that synapse is yeah your chain stealers are very average without synapse they really are um, 
So Zoanthrope doing a ton of work. Not sure how many, what level is this now? Level two. Oh, Moo 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 being used. Lots of damage incoming. Crippling poison being used on the Ogren squad, who are still level one. That's not what you want to see, especially with such an expensive, uh, expensive investment on them. Gene Steelers in the fray, forcing off the Ogren squad. Um, their active ability's been used. Ogren squad gonna get away just about. Um, Chimera being forced off. Garzman squad going to be attacking the capillary tower that's pretty nice to place capillary tower actually considering that you can just drop a spore mine out if uh if the guardsman wants to cap it like you can just pop out a spore mine yeah they'll get a decap off but they're not going to hang around for too long afterwards that's uh something that has, has to be dealt with before the guardsman can really go for the decap so very nice play by by riku um incoming uh wow uh that's not going well for your venom brood bro level three venom brood is in a lot of trouble yeah, he's dropped two models. Um, incoming Vox Operator. That's 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 significant. Yeah, like Vox Operator is what how Toil keeps up in value. Like um, you just can't, you just cannot keep paying for those reinforcements. Like uh, you can see his economy slow to a crawl, but at the same time, Riku's economy is not ideal either. Riku's economy is worse, but like he ble he should be bleeding less. And he I don't know. Like he he sees. Spending a lot of resources on just trying to tank on through it, and here comes another spore mine. I imagine. I imagine, yeah, spore mine. So I drop. Uh, Warrior boot in a lot of trouble. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's two. That's two molds. God, lucky not to lose the entire squad. Spore mine is doing a shit ton of work. Ogren squad nearly level two. Get crippled poison yet again. Might take out the term god. Might just die. Oh. Uh, yeah, wow, big win, no, big loss, a big loss, oh my god, I don't even know anymore, like, loses the, the Ogren squad, just, oh, loses the commander, oh no, yeah, um, Toil needs to, uh, I don't even know, I, yeah, uh, wow, I, mean, I, I did say it would have to take an incredible comeback, and uh, this is what it looks like it could be. And this Chimera is in quite a lot of trouble. It's not in that much trouble. It's got a very, very, very high natural like base move speed. Manticore. This is the play. He is going to go for it with the Manticore. Try to break down the defensive line and just break through once, and just try to hope to win. But this is starting to get. Very, very difficult for Toil, and actually, no, it got incredibly difficult the moment he traded. Uh, <laughs> Keltos, you heard it here. Well, you didn't hear it. You didn't hear it at first, but you heard it here. Okay, so here's the line, and that's a pretty indomitable line. Two capillary towers now for safety. Okay, look at your, look at your ratting. Your ratting is no good. Your ratting is going to get caught so hard. Yeah, look at that zone throw. That level 4 zone throw. And another barrage coming in. Yeah, time to break through, maybe. Nope. He executes, he reinforces. He's still going to have this time regard in his face. Nope. G seals on your face. Nope. Victor Alpha doing some capping because he has the luxury to do so now. Like, this is just. Riku's just, need to, just needs to stabilize, continue to keep it stable, just start strangling toil. Start taking away all this requisition, which he's doing now. Very smart. In the late game, the requisition points are way more valuable than, than power. And conversely, power is pretty pretty significant compared to requisition in the early game. So seeing the wise thing, just denying Toil Wreck, picking up his more wreck for himself. So look, as I said, like Toil still hasn't gotten a new squad, like and and well Okay, he's picked up the Manticore, but he hasn't increased his squad count, which is problematic. And Riku has, so he's developed his composition far more than Toil has. Okay, Lictor Alpha, yes again, being a pain. Surprise. But Toil's um, just trying to make another move, and this zone throw, boom! Half health. Incoming Manticore strike, not gonna do too much. A little bit hopeful, I think. Um, yeah, so here comes the same attempt. 
toil concedes because things haven't changed. And what a comeback by Riku! Well, that was quite some comeback. I don't know, holding firm, making a lot of brutal trades, a lot of like they were like just yeah. I mean, there was a bloodbath, and that was that was holding holding the line with Nids. Versus IG. Hold the line. So, we're not gonna have a 3 0. Nice. Always good to see more games between these two, especially. Versus Toil Game 3. Not quite as epic as the first game, but...